Call of Midas. This YouTuber exploded recently. Great Scotland Yard! Oh. She gained 15,000 subscribers in less than two months. That's extraordinary. How does she do it? I don't know what I'm doing. Even she doesn't even know. <laughs> this isn't even her main account. She made this channel to vent out her frustrations or to like talk about things on her mind, her opinion, give her like interests and stuff. Monster is better than Red Bull. And because she's honest and so like straightforward, people love it. I'm loving it. <laughs> the socks and gloves stay on during sex. The only backstory I have on her is that she's a Canadian YouTuber who has been VTubing for four years. I have no idea what her PL account is, by the way. PL is like private life or personal life or previous life. And uh, she made this model by herself. She made this schizo looking thing. <laughs> and uh, the inner voices that leak out of her head might be revealing too much criminal evidence. What's the worst thing that you've ever done to someone? Physically? Probably kick the shit out of a child. As, an, as another child, I was also a child. Where were you the night of the murder? Snorting meth off a hooker's spine. Okay, she's definitely schizo and her deadpan delivery, I'm all for it, okay? <laughs> I love it. Originally, I was going to do a like a, a reaction video of her and her channel kind of stuff. And no, it will not be the circumcision ASMR video. Thank you very much. But she posted recently a video about react videos <laughs> and it opened my eyes. It's like my brain got a factory reset watching it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it just it kind of aligned things. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah, this is actually kind of bad. <laughs> React content is very stale. React videos are all the same now. They're all just like, watch a thing, pause, say nothing of substance or even en like minute entertainment value. It's just like a, eh, bah, 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 bah. and then they hit play and you watch more of the content. It's just a glorified extended way of watching the original content without supporting the creators, in my opinion. That's why I'm doing this discussion video on her instead. She uploaded a video a month ago called VTubing is incest and in a sense she's not wrong. <laughs> Basically she talks about how when it comes to VTubing now its only target demographic is other VTubers or VTuber fans and she talks about how like people are creating these VTubing characters for other VTubers and how they're using like VTubers as stepping stones to try and progress their own what influence? Quote unquote influence? Even I fall victim to this, so I'm not gonna lie. Because <laughs> I, I, use, I use the hashtags, unfortunately. I've used the hashtags, like hashtag VTuber, hashtag English VTuber, hashtag uh, Indie VTuber. And like, this isn't what I originally was aiming for. And I'm pretty sure that was kind of like for other people as well when I started VTubing. Because when I started, okay, so I started VTubing when I did a live stream. I did a live stream, it was the first live stream of this year. And my friend commented, it was, he was asking basically if I was ever going to use like a webcam or a, a VTuber model for like a future stream or like videos and stuff. I'm paraphrasing. And uh, that's that's what definitely pushed me into doing it because I was already watching VTubers and I was kind of like into that rabbit hole. But then I started doing it myself and it's like I've been doing it ever since then. <laughs> v, like VTubing, like live 2D VTubing. And I have a PNG of like what I would like my OC to be if I had an OC. But as your favorite Twitch streamer says, Like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, since then it's been like a replacement for webcams. But I started going off course and what I was doing was I started targeting the VTubing audience space, you know, with the hashtags and stuff. Instead of making content for my own enjoyment and my friends and whoever watched it, like watched it, you know, <laughs> it's like it's a public thing and it's out there for the whole internet to see. I wasn't doing okay, unlisted videos, I was doing posts. So yeah, if I like the video, or if other people like the video, like if my friends, like that was why I started doing uh, drama slash news, VTuber news related stuff because I got, I was getting messages from my friend about the recent, well, the recent at the time drama stuff and if I knew anything about it that was going on. So I was like, okay, here's the TLDR. <laughs> and then I like brought them up to speed with what was going on. And then since then I just thought, well, I'm watching these videos. I might as well post myself watching these videos <laughs> so that's what got me into that rabbit hole of, of uh, reacting doing reaction videos towards that if you were to personify the algorithm what would it be like it would be like a big buxom woman wearing bdsm gear and then like 
as you're getting ready for the session, she just decides to use you as a free therapist instead, so you get absolutely nothing out of it. Midas is definitely the new wave. With this channel, she's, whether she likes it or not, part of the direction people want YouTube to go back to. Videos keep on popping up on my page, I don't know if it's like this for everybody else, where people talk about how fast-paced, loud, obnoxious Mr. Beast wannabes and goldfish memory children who doom scroll until they're out of college type of videos are starting to die. The slow-paced storytelling videos that aren't made to reach the YouTube quotas are allegedly making a comeback. Somewhat old-style YouTube videos are making a return. If only the old YouTube made a return. God, I miss pre-watch time YouTube. If only they would get rid of it. I don't have much else to say on this other than keep an eye out on her, I guess. <laughs> She's really funny. Have you ever almost killed someone? If so, can you tell us about it? <laughs> Will YouTube demonetize me if I say myself? For legal reasons, this is a joke. She won't be doing live streams, unfortunately, but she does appear in other people's live streams, and she stated that she would continue uploading on the core of Midas channel until it started to feel like content. And with that, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Please. Cream me.